So Andrew and I discussed developing um, some sort of instrument that translates objects into sounds. Um, Andrew's been working with slit scanning for a while now, um, and he put together most of this code um, that takes the RGB and luminosity values of uh, an object um, in front of the webcam and converts that into a sound. Um, I did the work on the oscillators, pushing those values into the oscillators and trying to get something um, interesting out of it. Um, I particularly like noise and quite chaotic sort of sounds, so that's what I went with. Um, that's basically it, like taking this slit scan, you know, um, it takes a pixel sort of chunk and rotates it around um, and gives us this sort of this noise. We have just the the various RGB values getting pushed through uh, to the oscillators um, and using uh, particularly the RGB values to modulate a set frequency. Um, I'm going to turn it up now and I'll show you. Something like this. And you can see the variation of the RGB values down the bottom with the debug mode down here. Um, this gives us an idea of what is actually happening live, um, what the color values are in a, in a live setting. Um, and here is just the the luminosity modulation, um, or just how different they are in, in terms of each frame. I'll go back. So the next obvious step um, with having this, just the software build, was to make some sort of device um, that uh, users could interact with um, that wasn't so screen, just screen based, because um, we really liked the the visuals that come out over this side, the slit scan, um, that sort of warping, um, but it's really, it's, it's sort of not intuitive enough. Um, so we attached a webcam to uh, sort of arm um, and had it set over a record player with no motor inside so you could freely move the record player as you wish and then you put objects on the record player and play the objects essentially. <laughs> Um, we could develop this further because it's just a pretty much a two-dimensional um, information input. If we had a connect system um, in terms of a uh, infrared system, we could actually measure the really the 3D space of an object as well as its RGB and luminosity values, and we would have a lot more information coming in that we could um, push through more oscillators or give it more tonality or modulation. Um, I personally would like to push this idea further by approaching people from the conservatorium and working with actual musicians or composers um, 
so we can flesh out this instrument in terms of its instrumentality. I mean, we can push technical sort of shit here, um, but where you know we're not musicians yet, <laughs> so we should be working with people who actually understand uh, musical theory, and then we can tell them we have these sets of values. What do you think we should do with them? And how can we progress, sort of, uh, in chord structure or mathematically to produce something that isn't so noise-based? Um, perhaps I don't. Know.